Hey guys, it's Tats here from Castagra. And today I want to talk to you about the 90 second rule. No, it's not another spin on the five second food drop rule, which is, by the way, really bad. I'm talking about the 90 second rule developed by Jill Taylor, who's a brain scientist, and she's also a author. And the rule goes like this. Say you're walking around and you bump into someone that says something really offensive to you and you get mad and you immediately start reacting, blurring stuff out. Let's say you wait, take a few breaths, wait 90 seconds. What happens is during that period of time, your initial reactions subside substantially. And what that allows you to do is to think through if your response or your proposed reaction is still appropriate. In many cases, it's not. It's just a knee-jerk reaction. If you look at the situation carefully, they didn't mean to do it. And by reacting what, right away, what you did was you inadvertently escalated the situation. Here's another example. You see some food and you want to eat it. Instead of just making the move and eating it right away, take a few breaths and wait 90 seconds. And what you'll find is that initial craving that you have will subside. You can decide later if you still want to eat the food or not. In many cases, once the craving, the initial the surge and wanting to eat something disappears, you'll find it quite easy to just walk past. So snacking and stuff can be greatly eliminated. Think of other situations where this technique might be valuable to you. you know, anything that requires sort of that immediate sort of emotional sort of reaction that you give, wait for it. Let, let that initial urge to act path and st think, do I still want to react in the same manner that I was going to in the very beginning? Anyways, I find that really useful for me. I hope it's useful for you. It's Tats here and I'll talk to you again soon.